Hello, Stephen here. Once again, it's a lovely day. I seem to always choose lovely days to do my YouTube videos. Anyway, today I want to review a Zoom eyepiece that I picked up earlier in the season. This is the SV Boney SV135 eyepiece. It's a 7 to 21 millimeter zoom. So you can adjust the um, focal length in real time just by rotating a dial. And this is my first zoom eyepiece. Generally speaking, I've been discouraged from buying them by the astronomical community. I think most connoisseurs would say that um, fixed um, focal length eyepieces are the way to go in terms of image quality, and I'm sure they're right. However, for sheer versatility, I am really enjoying this eyepiece and I must admit I find it difficult to see significant quality difference. So I've been using this um, for live streaming and just for general observing and what I find really good about it is the fact that I can leave it in place and it can be my setup eyepiece so I can go out, I can look at Jupiter and it allows me to kind of dial in the ideal magnification depending on the local seeing conditions. So I'll start off at 21 mil, and if I want more detail in Jupiter, I'll, I'll lower the focal length, and eventually I'll probably get a washed out blurry image, and then I'll know that I've overcooked it, so I can dial it back a bit, maybe to 12 mil. And once I'm happy, um, if I really wanted to, I could then swap out uh, to one of my standard eyepieces that matched that particular focal length. So that's what I find really useful about it. Um, it's not very expensive either. Um, I got this very cheaply. I think it's much cheaper than some of the Celestron um, branded um, zooms and certainly the Bader zoom, which is much more pricey. And I didn't want to invest an awful lot in it because I didn't know um, how useful it would be. But there we go, we'll keep this short. Thumbs up, really useful eyepiece. I use it much more than I expected to. And that is the SV Boney Zoom 7 to 21 millimeters. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please follow my Facebook page at Highland Astronomy.